of oh fuck hello everybody rest in pieces majestic nurgle team we have dwarfs disgusting um right what's this three mighty blow four mighty blow three four five guard a blodge agility four. No, it's a leader. Agility four runner. Mighty blow slayer. So four, five. A blodge troll slayer. Alright, brilliant. Thirteen one three. He's probably got all of his wins. Security gate, that's good. I'm just gonna buy um I'm gonna buy Borak and hope. Hope the strength's good. Yeah, it's not even TV Plus, because his TV Plus is much bigger than mine. His TV Plus is plus, plus 300, and uh, 500. He's getting matched at, at plus 500, so, you know, it's it's not TV Plus, it's just... It's just we're probably the only people spinning. And, um, yeah, I guess a lot of his wins are by concede. But he's actually, he's won 2 one a fair amount as well. He actually hasn't, he's hardly got any concede wins. When you think about it. I guess Borak's better than a wizard. Because a wizard for one turn. Or Borak for 16 is just better isn't it. I'm going to need that strength. Because he's got the guard. Yep low population. That's that's the problem isn't it. That's the problem. No matter. This, this is what makes matchmaking. In a progression environment. Shit. You can't make it good. You just can't. You can't make matchmaking good. Because this, this this happens inevitably. And and sure, you know, I might be able to um I might be able to win three hundred T V down. I might be a better coach than him. I might be that much better than him or that lucky that I managed to get a draw or even a win. It doesn't prove anything. You know, I haven't lost yet, obviously I'm not gonna give up. Um but it's fucking stupid, isn't it? It and and you just can't avoid matches like this. Which just it just sucks. I right, put the three journeymans on the line. Yeah, this seems this seems like a decent defense. But I wish I I wish I could have got a bribe as well, so he could actually foul. But this has got the potential to just go fucking south, hasn't it? Maybe I could put the Borak and two warriors on the line, but he's just got so much guard that it just means he's going to mighty blow warriors. Oh, fuck's sake! Hopefully, I can. Somehow look a draw out of it. Yeah, splitting the player base doesn't help, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, matchmaking is pretty garbage, yeah. It's much better to, to just play. Um, it would be but much better to just play in leagues. But, um, oh, hello. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Um, yeah, Boric is good. The, the problem is that he's is that he's three hundred k, isn't it? You know, um, so you've got to basically give up a wizard and a bribe or whatever for him. If he was two fifty, people would take him a lot more. You often get to the point where you don't get to take him. Whereas something somebody like Cheney being two fifty gets taken a hell of a lot. A two forty, isn't he, Cheney? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn my camera off and my mute myself. I'm gonna have a whoop. There you go. As you can see, a Tunix tea cake. Oh, oh, baby, get banged on. So I'm gonna have one of these right now. I'll be right back.
Oh, that was amazing. Right. So, do I stand him up? He's only going to get knocked down again by Mighty Blow. I could put an assist in here and one dice block him. I could blitz him and then minus, then one dice block him. I could dodge away from him. He could just stay lying down. So yeah, I guess I blitz him and then dodge with him. simply the best Fagors. And leave these guys down. And I mean, I gotta say, I gotta say that was a great play there. Great play. Um, he went for not really doing anything. I think it was a great play. Uh, really, really exciting turn there. Um, inspired moves. Outstanding strategic positioning. I mean, what can I say? <laughs> I think Blood Bowl's a hard game to commentate. It, uh, you know. going all men's contact it's risky for him isn't it if I am um, if I crack the line here I can 2d all his guys and hopefully get some payoff yeah yeah well there's no surprise that I've asked them um, I've asked fash to do it with me Brr. Right, so th this could be actually good, couldn't it? Um, any of these guard? Right, let's have a look. Oh god, how fucking hard! Nurgle versus dwarves is the worst match. I could blitz this guard, and then two D him. Two D him. He could block him, and then block it. So these can all get blocked. It's not so important to block him because he's got dodge anyway. But he can block him on two D. Then he can block him on two D. So I could block him on 2D, then assist here. And then he can come in. So yeah, I think I have to blitz here, right? Can I do anything sexy like a chain chain push somebody in the ball? Don't think so. I mean, he's the only... Oh, so I actually could just block him straight up. And then go for the... I can 2D the ball! I can just 2D the ball here, can't I? If I power him... I can 2D the ball. That's insane. That was a great play there. <laughs> Amazing that he saw that action that he could take. On a scale of 1 to 10, this guy is a 78. Now my fucking claw guy's just gonna get two dice and killed. What a lot of shit. Now I've gotta give up these mighty blow blocks, haven't I? To try and fucking somehow defend. He could block him to get him in there and then he could run around this way, but not far enough. Gotta just slam him in there and go for this. Greed is good. Greed is right. Greed works. Fuck off, just pushes. Oh man. Get fucking banged on. Just nothing. Can't believe you just gave me two dice in the ball, man. Huh? 
it was a trap. It was a trap, wasn't it? It cost me a reroll. Cost me my claw, mighty blow guy. <laughs> Thank you, Grindo. <laughs> Quality defense refusing to roll the power there. <laughs> VG Pura is coming straight at you. <laughs> is that what he says? Holy shit. I maybe should have done it with a strength four just so that now you've just still got two dice on me here. But yeah, the strength four can end 2D and next turn, hopefully. <laughs> I just had a. No. Yeah, I started in the morning. Didn't I? Isn't it just a rest? His whole team, he just based his whole team, and I just got nothing with it. I made one, one POW out of like. 2Ding his whole team. <laughs> exactly, Ed the Mad. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah. Casual, casual one dice block from dwarves. I mean, I had to stand up that guy. This You can't even see anything when the fucking dwarves are playing Nurgle, can you? Holy shit, he's frenzy trapped himself. Come on, fail the dauntless. Good, at least at least he didn't fucking do anything, the prick. Oh man, look at this guy. Fucking dwarves, innit? One dice. One dice for days. If I block him and pow him. And then block him, I can get the guard away. So that I can hit with a claw mighty blow again. <laughs> no Russian Reb, to be honest, all I've all I've heard is like I dunno, I kinda of switch off when I hear his voice, to be honest. I just kinda of know what how he kind how he kind of sounds. Right, I can stand this guy up first because he can assist that block. He can stand up anyway, I guess. And I guess he has to stand up anyway. He can get a pow here, it's great. Yep. And he just needs a push. But a pow. Is obviously very nice. And now we try again with a claw mighty blow guy. <laughs> and he's running. <laughs> Way did it! Alright. Alright. Unbelievable, eh? Unfucking believable. Um, now this guy can block him. And he can get rid of him. Right, so basically, I haven't got a way to get through here, but I can run him around. And get him on there, can't I? Wait a minute, is this a... No. I want to get him in on there. <laughs> that would have been great, Ed the Mad. Who the fuck is BJ Purist? <laughs> um... Why not follow up there? Block myself. I don't even know what I did. To be honest. Oh, with my um, with my guy, I couldn't move back because I was in the tackle zone. With with the claw, I was in I was in the tackle zone of him, so I couldn't I couldn't go back. If I'd followed, I'd just been two dice blitzed. Um. And I didn't want my claw mighty blow, it would be just be two dice blitzed, so that's why I didn't follow up. Is, is, if that's one, the one you're talking about. 
Um, all right, you two dice blitz me anyway. All right then. All right. He just two dice blitz me anyway. That was all he was interested in. Was hitting the call guy. Well, Overlord, he is he is completely he's completely not even trying to protect the ball, which was good. And then I've got a little sneaky chance of getting best Fagors in here. Got to make a loner block first, though. I do have some skills now. I guess I might as well just stand him up. Can he block anybody? Probably not. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, this is so annoying. Right, two guard. But he could block him if he was in there. He can block him. So I'm going to have to put this guy in here anyway. Which means he can... Oh, he's a loner, isn't he? Oh, well. At least he's got block. I probably want to blitz this fella, don't I? Which means I've got to get this guy out of the way. Do I want to scatter the ball? Probably don't mind, you know. Oh my fucking god. Claw mighty blow. Just another stun, but still stuns are all better than nothing, aren't they? Great play there. Blitz with my claw mighty blow. Give me a better chance of hurting somebody. And if I get a, I mean, I don't want to make a dodge or anything here, do I? He could make a one dice block. It's really risky though. He could one dice him, and then if it works. If it fails, it's not that bad, and if it works, he gets a 2D, doesn't he? Um, but I just gotta get a power here with a long. Good lad. Good fucking lad. Best Vagors. Simply the best Vagors. If he gets surfed, I'll cry. I'll just literally cry and then uninstall the game and never play again. No. <laughs> Yeah, failing foul appearance is really annoying. The worst thing is when you're playing end zone um, with a TV at disadvantage and you fail foul appearance with a reroll twice in the same game. That was pretty. That was pretty frustrating. Not gonna lie, that was pretty. That was a pretty frustrating game. Brilliant, clever move there. He chain pushed his guy out. So he doesn't need to make a dodge. And then he rolled a power, which is a, a very intelligent move. Has he failed five, has he? I mean, he's, he's been in... He, he, he did go in contact with everybody. Um, so, this <laughs> is Jimmy coming straight at you. <laughs> oh, man. Not even that many of them were um, concedes as well, Overlordy. I imagined loads would have been concedes because you know dwarves, but they're not even not even that many were concedes. But the thing is, it doesn't really matter if you leave the ball vulnerable when you've got fucking four mighty blow, four guard, and just generally smash the fuck out of people. It doesn't really matter if you leave the ball exposed, does it? <laughs> I've been pretty lucky to be fair that he's failed so many foul appearances and um, hasn't hasn't torn through my team quite as much as he could have done. Oh, 
Oh man, if he if he serves best Fagors here, I'm going to be pissed off. I'm going to be really pissed off if he serves best Fagors. I'm I'm not I'm not even joking. Oh god, he's going to do it. I knew, I knew it was going to come. I absolutely knew it. <laughs> I can't get an assist on this guy, can I? No, I can do is just stand fucking dickheads up and get punched. He hasn't moved yet. Alright, that's all I get to do. He's got to re roll this. Alright, good lad. Do I blitz this way? So there's a chance of me surfing him next turn? Or do I just blitz this guy? I'll just go blitz him, haven't I? Hmm. I guess I don't have to pick it up. Maybe I should have moved that guy 1-4 before I did the blitz. Probably should have done. Probably should have moved this guy here. I wanted to move him there. But maybe I should have moved him there in case it failed. But I guess it's okay here as well. I don't know. It was a tough call where he should go. <laughs> Cry, uninstall, quit forever. <laughs> <laughs> so what what's the chance of that? What is literally the chance of that? Let's have a let's have a look. An old an old Samba here. Um he needed a two, then a five, then a two, then a five, and then a five and then, then he only needed a three plus. So he was on five percent without using a reroll to do that. And I, I just knew I knew it was gonna happen. When, as soon as I failed the pickup, I was like, I should, I should re-roll this because he'll probably just fucking one dice surf me three times. <laughs> I just fucking knew it. <laughs> what a bastard. What an absolute bastard. At least he's been hit. He's been knocked down a lot and at least he survived. I mean, that's the only, the only real thing that's gone my way. Apart from, obviously, my opponent absolutely, completely... Refusing to protect the ball in any way, shape, or form. But let's not be let's not be um, let's not be critical of him here. Um, I'm sure he's thinking of really good ideas when he's just thinking to dice my ball every single turn. Um, you know, he's going for the risk reward strategy of risking um, two Ds on the ball, knowing that I'll just roll pushes. So fair play to him. Good strategy. Um, He's got to make lots of one dice blocks, which obviously have a greater chance of removals. Now he'll go for a two dice. Oh, he, he was unlucky. He failed something. No, no, he didn't. <laughs> With a reroll, it was like 15%. Um, my, uh, do I have to stand these guys up? Oh God, I can't, he can't even make a block. So if it's a blitz, it's with him. So maybe I, um, maybe I just surf this guy. All right. So I, I, actually, I block first, don't I, before making the decision? All right, and I go for it. I go for it. I'll go for my loner. 
my fucking loner block here. And I guess now I have to su su support this idiocy with standing players up. Alright, amazing. No soundboard though, I hate not having the soundboard on. Yes! Fuck him up. I followed, I didn't mean to follow, but I guess it doesn't matter. Um, this can be a one dice, and I've got block. So I, I actually just have to go for this one dice. But I guess this is a two dice. Without, like, although, it's, although it's a loner. Um, I've got two rerolls, so I can reroll this if it's a failure, can I? Mighty blow hit. Of course, it's a failure. Maybe I actually shouldn't have gone for that. Maybe I should have gone for this one dice so I had the reroll available for it. I've got, I've got to go for it. I should, I shouldn't have done the, I shouldn't have done that. But I've got to follow now, though, don't I? Oh my god, I shouldn't have made that two D because it was just a one in nine chance of using the reroll before. I had to reroll this one, didn't I? That was a bad play. But, you know, um, I made some good plays that turn as well. I made a good surf play. I saw that I could surf a guy and I surfed him. Um, thank you for the follow, Wacker Woo. Yeah, he has ignored the ball all half, but then casually ends up with it, yeah. <laughs> Pretty funny, isn't it? I could have won dice to him, but I don't think it's worth it, even though he's got mighty blown guard. Got Borak for my scoring threat. Thanks to him being a Chaos Warrior and not a Nurgle Warrior. Yeah, it does, it, if he does score, I'll, I'll fucking cry, uninstall, and quit Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> if he scores from here oh god he's going to two dice my claw isn't he with a ball <laughs> mhm mm Yeah, paying the price for not making that one nice block. Trucker Jimmy. Yeah, roll injuries is very, is very skillful. Two huge stuns from me, actually, doesn't it? If even one of them would have meant you'd have to use somebody. Oh, he's actually going to go for a. He's going to go for some kind of movement here. Some kind of scoring movement. Of course he of course he succeeds. Of course he does. He's not in scoring range. He's not he's not in scoring range. <laughs> oh man, that's pretty funny, isn't it? I can push him into this guy, can't I? Which is um, pretty cool. I can block him, and then get the push, and then he can blitz him, and then it's go here to assist afterwards. Be fantastic. Got him. Brilliant play there. See, got a two dice block with Claw Mighty Blow. 
Fantastic play. Might as well go. So now this guy currently cannot score. If I push him, I push him into scoring range. So I've got to re-roll it if I don't power him. Alright, good. Let's stay on the ball. Put him on the ball too. And let's fucking go. Let's score a fucking touchdown. Lads, boys, boys, lads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He needs to make a GFI right now. No problem. One, two, three, four, five. GFI, GFI. Fucking Borak. Getting into the end zone. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fucking Borak. Chaos Warriors are so much better than Nurgle Warriors, though, aren't they? You couldn't even dream of doing that play with a Nurgle Warrior. But with a Chaos Warrior, it's not even... Like, it wasn't even bad. And they're really good Chaos Warriors. Borak, <laughs> Borak Canoring Threat's pretty funny, isn't it? And actually, he did cause an injury. Um, he's got a reserve, though. So... This half has gone amazing. It's gone swimmingly, actually, hasn't it? Imagine 120 get no glory there, Jilly 3, yeah. Yeah, of course, Nurgle Warriors are, um... Yeah, I think they might be VIP Kurgle. I think they actually, Chaos might be better than Nurgle in Blood Bowl 2 because of the bankroll change. I think it really could. It really could put them over, over Nurgle. And I think with Blood Bowl 2016, Necro are just the best team. Hands down. Well, not hands down, but right. Oh, God, so... You're telling me there's a chance? He could stand up, he could block him. But then there's no blitz, is there? He could block and then chain somebody out. He could come round and just blitz him. Because he's a fuckhead and I want to hurt him. That seems the absolute best strategy. Great rationale. Um, and now he gets to hit the ball. It's his blodger as well that's got it. Isn't that unbelievable? Surf the Slayer, it wasn't easy because he had the guard in the way. Um, and he had two, three players there. It wasn't easy to do that, but um, casually gets the ball. <laughs> yeah, if it, was, if it hadn't been his blood draw, he just powered him and had a shot of the touchdown. Yeah, but he's played terribly, Carlo Ancelotti, hasn't he? I mean, he completely failed to protect the ball, but yeah, I'm lucky to have a full team for the second half, absolutely. Absolutely lucky to have a full team for the second half. But that's the thing, this is where reserves don't do any good, do they? Because now I've got my reserve. And so, you know, he, he could have had a removal. It wouldn't have really made much difference if the removal was over here as well, because he had just completely, he completely failed to protect the ball. Yeah, ne Necro are a good team. They are a bit crap at a thousand, but after that, they're, um, they're spot on, aren't they, once they get good. And now that no one gets piling on, it makes Necro even better. Um, yeah, they're, 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 they were always good, but now it, I think they they were always the teams. Necro were always the team on Fumble that had the ridiculously massive treasuries. And now the ridiculously massive treasuries is what you're going to fucking need. Because, you know, with, the, with these stupid rules. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to go this side, I think.
I don't want to maximise blocks on the LOS. I don't give a shit, do I? I just want, don't want to turn over. That's all I want to do on the LOS. And um, actually, I could just go like this, couldn't I? Then, if then I don't follow and make a three dice before. I. He just blitzes that guy and then fucks off. Oh, I've got another player. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, it's good when you find another player out of your ass. Alright, he can go there. Go there, actually, can he? Right, let's go. Well, believe me, Carlo and Shortly, I've had enough games where people have got the fucking removals. And I mean, I haven't got any removes. I've only made one remove with Claw Mighty Blow hitting every turn, you know. So, there is that as well. You know. It hasn't been all one way in that respect. Blow baller. Fuck him up. Yes! He's got a punch. Do Chaos Warriors have that punch? I'm not even going to go there. I'm going to move him to there instead. And him to there. Not bad, not a bad turn. Stuff and nightmares, level six necro rules. <laughs> yeah, case Rose do like a big kick thing, and they, they do a punch when they follow sometimes, but I've never seen them do a punch when they don't follow. Yeah, exactly. I really like it, Miss Miss Yeah, tabletop great. And then ladder fucking terrible. Well it's not necessarily terrible in ladder, is it? But yeah, there's obviously but more potential like there's bits it's potentially abuse abusable in ladder. But I wouldn't say it's just you know, I wouldn't make the blanket statement of it's terrible. Um Stay fantastic. I really want a GFI. This is so stupid, but I've got four rerolls. So fuck it. I'm happy trading blitzes with him, aren't I? I've got Claw Mighty Blow, he's just got armor. He's, well, armor 8 or armor 9 guys to punch. Yeah, fair enough, Kurgol. That would make getting concedes much more imbalancing. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. You could make the second MVP random, um, so so the, the, you know there could be like that kind of thing. But it, it wouldn't just be definitely terrible. That's 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 all I mean. It wouldn't be de definitely terrible. But yeah, it could be awful on on the ladder. Yeah, yeah, fair enough with the concedes. Yeah, yeah. Drop kicks here. So he's. I was scared of him pinning me against the sideline here. It was a bit shit. No chance of that. Alright, he hasn't pinned us.
But, but I mean, that's a that's a great play by him, isn't it? But basing, basing Michael Almighty Blow with his armor rate and dodge. Um. But then, of course, I get to keep him based on him. Would have to worry about the ball a little bit. Go and just come back around here, can I? Got to start moving forward eventually. Bullet him and assist there. I'd rather make this block first, though. Mighty blow hit. Smack a Rooney. Nothing. Could follow and stand this guy up as well. That's not so bad. But it is giving away a block for no reason, essentially. Right. Gonna have to. I need, I need to make a claw mighty blow hit and fucking get an advantage, don't I? Yeah, exactly, and he's armor rate as well, so he's basing. You know, it was a good play. That was a good play, but I mean, not one that I wouldn't feel the need to comment on because it's obvious as to me. You know, and I guess it should be obvious to everyone. He's basing an armor. You know, he's armor eight, and he's basing a claw guy. So, you know, and he's got dodge. Yep, he is giving us more blocks, more and more blocks. Um, but now my only block with my, my 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 mighty blow blitz would be in the wrong place, wouldn't it? I'd really rather blitz this guy to clear his um, guard. I could go here, blitz, and then retreat. That's what I'm going to do. Best Fagors doesn't give a shit about Claw Mighty Blow. He'll get the fucking knockdowns, don't you worry. Lads, boys, lads, lads, boys, lads. He's gonna fucking. He wants to GFI actually. He wants to GFI here, so I'll do him last. fuck's sake, I hate it when you do that and you click on him and it doesn't change to him. Holy shit. Just more central's good, isn't it? Mighty blow hit. Any good? Nope. So if I follow and then stand him up, he gets to 2D him, but then he's based. And then next turn. I think it's worth following. Oh my god. Got the got a rando two rando stuns is pretty awesome, isn't it, against dwarves? Let's be honest. I wanna go here so that he can't he can't hit either one without giving up an assist, of course. But I've got four rerolls. So, it's not bad, is it? Alright. Those two stuns could be pretty big, actually. Best Vago. <laughs> yeah, Borak's pretty great. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> yep, yeah, hello, Goliath Games. 
No, I think that was important to free up my claw mighty blow guy to make that GFI. Borak, yeah, Borak on turn 16. Hopefully I'm scoring on turn 16. So hopefully I don't get to make a turn 16 foul with Borak. Maybe a turn 15 foul with him. And this is still a tricky situation for him here, isn't it? I just could dodge away because he's got agility 4. What does he do with him? Dodge as well because he's got blood. No, just get three dice. Just get three dice banged on. And probably survive. And three dice again. And survive again. I need to make some kind of movement, don't I? Especially getting those two stuns. Maybe I could base with these two guys. Leave him there for the frenzy trap. He can one day him, can't he? He doesn't have mighty blow, so it's not the end of the world. Pretty shit turn, that. <sighs> yeah, that's the good. That's a very good point of rest development. That's why he's not that good. Because yeah, if you can afford him, you're usually hosed. Whereas, whereas, um, silly Billy, and um, what's he called, Glart, and the other one, um, what's he called? Cheney. You're, you're at that kind of TV where you've actually got a shot with him. And if you're 400 TV down, you get Cheney and a Wizard. Whereas if you're 400 down with Borak, you're like, oh god, you don't get both. That's horrible that you don't get Borak and a Wizard. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to give up blocks, do you? Like, giving up those two blocks is just let him collapse that flank. You know? So it's like. Yeah, and the, the, the Dark Elf as well. Like, it's much better being around a 250 TV team than a than anything else. You know, he's just completely collapsed this flank because I, I was like, yeah, I'll give him, you know, I'll base some people. Basing people on offense is shit. It's absolutely fucking shit. But um, I was fucking desperate, aren't I? I'm absolutely fucking desperate at this moment in time. Borak and a bribe, yeah. Borak and a bribe isn't bad, but you know what I mean. Like, you'd, mu you'd much rather... Yeah, Cheney set it at a really good price point, yeah. Oh, there you go. It gets killed, you know? That's why I don't fucking base on offense. And everyone who says base on offense, in my opinion, is wrong. <laughs> so there you go. I mean, it's just completely collapsed my offense, basing here. You know, but I was in a desperate situation, wasn't I? Which is why I did it, but I, I, hate, I hate doing it. I absolutely fucking hate doing it.
But that, that turn when I just... That turn when I just didn't fucking... Thing. When you base out, the same difference. It's still just blocking me. You know. You don't base out. I don't... Oh, I just did a one dice by mistake. <laughs> Get the pal finally. <laughs> Three dice, no good. Ra one dice misclick gets a gets a pal. Um. We needed a pal in. Best Fagors to the rescue. Hopefully. All in on stupid plays now. I guess I should have re re dodged somebody without Lona first, but I thought he's he's strength five, so if he gets there, he's um, he's more relevant than just someone who's going to get my best player killed again. I think for fifty TV, you take the ego, and you you can take it for hundred if you're the TV overdog sometimes. You can take the ego. <sighs> what an absolute fucking joke that was. What an absolute joke of a turn that was. It just didn't achieve anything basically. It's just stupid. I knew it was stupid, but I was just like, you know, oh well, and something might happen. Something good might happen. Yeah, my my thirteen star player point warrior. That's he was he was a fifteen star player point. He was thirteen after like two games or something, and he's just completely failed to cause a cars with his mighty blow. Yeah, of course, of course, liquor. You know, I don't, I don't want to get into specifics of that, but just I remember some guy who thinks he's the best coach saying that my my offense was too passive because I didn't, I wasn't basing people, and I, you know, it was fucking stupid, and I'm never gonna forget it. <laughs> so, so there you go. No, it's funny the misclick, the misclick one die getting the power and a stun, wasn't it? Wow, an actual block player, unbelievable, Jeff. I just got a potato here, and I don't have any other play. <laughs> Feels like November. It's just annoying that you can play somebody this bad, who does this many things wrong. And then I make one misplay, brutally punished by the death of my what my what my best warrior. He makes three GFIs to one dice me, gets the knockdown. It's just like it's just impossible, isn't it? I guess I want to blitz with him, don't I? And then move the other through. Oh, that's one die, so I've got a blitz with him. <laughs> this is fucking horrible, I know, but I've got to do it.
It was a fucking messy potato, but I guess it wasn't that bad. Let's see what he does. Borat is a team player. Agility 5 goal would be pretty amazing. <laughs> oh yeah, that guy. Mm, yeah, I should have done the other turn. Then he could have done something. Yeah, I knew I forgot to move him last turn because I was pissed off and salty. And if I'd stood him up, I could have gone 1, 2, 3, 4, GFI and based him too. So that was another misplay there. <laughs> it's annoying, isn't it? This pisses me off. I haven't been. I haven't made any. I've made some stuns. Brilliant, but I just no removals with Claw Mighty Blow and. Uh, He's, you know, he's obviously just swarming with guard and block, and there was no real way through, was there? This guy's got a chance of a touchdown. Lona has some kind of a chance. Hopefully, the ball will bounce to him right now. No, oh, no. That would be way too easy, wouldn't it? Um, I can actually blitz him and then surf him. All right. Oh, of course. Stay fantastic. <laughs> Fucking ball going here. Ball rack with a pass player, or maybe this guy. Yeah, this guy, and then passes to this guy. to do, have I? Yeah, it was my fault. It was my fault because I didn't stand that guy up that other two turns ago, and if I had, he could have GFI'd a couple of times, marked the Troll Slayer, then that play wouldn't have happened. And there you go, isn't it? Those little mistakes that snowball. And um, as much as this guy made mistake after mistake after mistake, you know, 300 TV down, one mistake costs the game. Well, and one, one mistake costs the life of my best warrior. Keeps me completely skinned. It's just fucking hard, isn't it? Playing Nurgle is just absolute fucking torture. <laughs> Thank you, Train of Pain. Fucking dwarves. I mean, 300 TV down against dwarves, the draw's all right, on the face of it. But, feels bad, man. Maybe if I'd taken Piling On on the Pestagore, would have got more removals and would have been all right. Yeah. 
Oh, never. He hasn't got a Canoring Threat, has he? Don't even tell me he's got a Canoring Threat. Oh, God, he does. Oh, man, I could have lost it. I didn't even realise he had a Canoring Threat. Holy shit. Holy shit. He was 15 star player points and he was one away from getting block. He'll get the MVP now. He'll, fa he'll taunt me by finally getting the level he should have got. All right, 60, 60 for the winnings. That's all right. No, no, no. M Mash Fagors was the MVP. Because he's telling me. 1KO, 1KO and 10 stuns off 11 AV breaks is obviously pretty unlucky. Um, But then him only making one injury and six stuns is pretty good. So I, I got lucky with the damage he did, definitely, when you think how much Garden Mighty Blow he had. But on the other hand, with making 16 Claw Mighty Blow hits, you would have hoped to have got something better than some stuns. Um, got to buy another warrior now. And and this is the problem. You can't protect your warriors, you know. Chaos chaos warriors have an apple, don't they? And Nurgle warriors don't. So, yeah. Oh. What a, what a terrible team this is. I mean, what a really trash team. Three rookie warriors. A block warrior. A block rotter. And the only good things on the team are best Fagors and mash Fagors. And they're not even good, really, because I probably should have taken piling on on mash Fagors, to be honest. Um, but still unbeaten, which is all right, isn't it? But it's now it's looking really bad. Now it's like 9-1-2 is the record. Um, which is really, really unimpressive. Um, but there you go. Well, no, it's it's not. It's the thing is though, their Apo is a four plus to save them from death, or a perm instead of a three plus. So um, you know they, they um, and you can't buy them. You know I could have bought Apos for that game. So it's it's a four plus instead of a three plus. So it's it is a worse Apo from perms, isn't it? They take more perms, but then obviously, if you take multiples in the same, in the same one, unbeaten. Yeah, it is. They are unbeaten, but I mean, it is. It is nine nine one two. It's exactly the same record as nine one two. So, um, you know, they might as well be beaten. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.